in the ninja caster suitcase you get ninja caster device handy cam usb audio mic power bank hdmi wire and mounting ports and if you look at the device itself it's a military grade tough rugged device which has all its ports at the top of the box if you see the first port is for power connectivity the second port is for audio connectivity you can connect 3.5 mm jack into this uh, port if you are uh, taking audio input from any professional ps system and you have three hdmi ports to connect cameras you can uh, simultaneously connect three cameras at a time for uh, your multi camera setup and you have two usb ports for connecting uh, uh, usb audio uh, mics and if you doesn't want to use the uh, touch panel and if you want to use it with mouse you can also connect it here and you have two ethernet ports for internet connectivity and if you uh, if you don't have internet connectivity at the location you can also use it with sim cards you have a provision for uh, inserting sim in this device and if you look at the device it has four antennas with it uh, this is for wi-fi connectivity the box has wi-fi 6 enabled in it and at the back of the box you can put this mounting device to set it up on any tripod or at the bottom of the box you can put this mounting device to directly put it up on your camera now let's quickly connect all these devices and let me explain you which connection goes into which port let's take the handy cam open the lid there is an hdmi out port mini hdmi out port here take the hdmi wire insert the mini port into the hdmi out and there is an USB power connectivity uh, plug for the handy cam. Plug it into the power bank. Take the power bank. There is a USB slot at the top. Connect it here. Now, the other end of this HDMI port should go into the Ninja Caster device. Plug it in, in HDMI 1 port. This is for connecting the camera. Now to connect external USB audio mic, take the mic and put the USB port into the slot 1 port in the USB 3.0 on Ninja Caster device. Once you switch on the power bank, all the devices will automatically power on. Now, once the device is switched on, go to the settings button. In here, go into network and internet and connect your Wi Fi. And if you are connecting it with sim card or ethernet port you don't have to do anything you would get internet access by default and once the internet is connected come back to the home page go to the menu here you can see ninja caster app which is already built in in the device click on the app once the app is open 
you can see all our connections what we have connected the camera connectivity and all came up here let me move the camera for you yeah and if you are uh, owning the device for the first time uh, it would ask for updates go ahead with the updates and once it's reopened you see at the top right corner there is a menu button over here click on it at the left top corner you will see device id mentioned and for the first time user you have to register your device id with ninja caster team you can do it using uh, going to the website and connecting with the support team once your device is registered you can see stream details over here go to stream details and you have to put in your stream url and stream key for whatever platform you are streaming whether it's youtube or facebook or twitter anything you can get the url and stream key from your backend page you just have to copy and paste it over here and click on the save button and once it's saved successfully go to the menu button again here you can set the resolution of the stream whether you want to do it at 1080p or 720p based on your internet connectivity and upload speed you can select the resolution here and click on the screen here once everything is set you just have to click on the play button over here now you can see it's saying preparing stream in progress once it's connected with the servers you can see the pop up at the top live stream has been started now with this few simple steps you can stream to any platform using ninja caster device happy streaming